Hi, my name is Katie Adams, and I'm the Illinois Demonstration Farm Manager here at the Savannah Institute. I am originally from Southern Illinois, and I'm so excited to farm in a different way than I ever thought I would. So we are here at an agricultural field that's owned by the University of Illinois, so we're on public land and we're leasing it from the University of Illinois. And this land is specifically here to fund the 4-H camp, which is right next door. So we are renting from U of I for the benefit of 4-H here in Illinois. And we are working with a local row crop farmer to do an alley cropping demonstration out here. So the corn behind me is planted by a local farmer named Terry Lorish, um, who was very generous to work with us on this project. And we are he is subleasing the parts of land where he grows his annual crops from us um, and we have control over the areas where we're doing our perennial production. The long-term goals of this farm are pretty expansive and I can see changing a lot over time. I feel like the one big long-term goal is to show that agroforestry is possible and profitable here in central Illinois which is full of seas of monocrops across the landscape. So you can drive for miles and miles and miles and only see two crops. But when we are able to add trees into that, so we're adding in a perennial crop, as well as something like this that has, you know, over a dozen varieties of trees in the ground, then we're, we're allowing people to see different possibilities on the landscape, especially when it's grown next to something that's more conventional, that more people are used to seeing, and that farmers around this area have a lot of experience with. So just seeing it is a big goal in trying to talk with landowners and farmers and institutions and the general public about how agroforestry can really transform landscapes and increase profits as well for, for farmers and landowners. So we have a three row tree system out here and we're mostly focused on timber crops and using native trees as nurse trees um, to ensure like the really straight good heartwood growth of the timber that we're producing out here. So the middle rows of our three row paddock system include black walnut and shagbark hickory and swamp white oak because those were trees that were um, well suited for our soil as well as this area in central Illinois. There are also three that are native to this area and then all the trees on the outside serve a variety of ecosystem functions um, as well as helping the hardwood trees reach their full and best timber potential. We also have a really exciting black locust experiment going on here. Black locust is this like really reviled tree that everyone hates around these areas, especially folks that um, work really closely in natural areas. But it is native to here, although that is up to debate. And it has really great uses as you know one of the hardest of the, of the timber producers, um, as one of the fastest growing trees that we have and one that has great potential for, for livestock production as well. So if people can see it and we can talk to folks, then we can really create you know, a different future. So that's kind of the big goal, um, but smaller goals is to create you know, sustainable timber production possibilities in this area, and to really try to experiment with what different types of ground covers we can use. So we're experimenting with native ground covers out here, and also to set up best practices for, for alley cropping. So this is the first alley cropping project that the Savannah Institute has done. So we have an opportunity to see what works and what doesn't work um, so that we can refine that over time and then expand alley cropping across the state in the Midwest. <laughs>